Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials and vlog post number 23-11. We're going to talk today about YouTube. I know a lot of times people get on YouTube and they search for something and they like the person who is presenting that YouTube video, those are YouTubers, and they wonder, gee, what is it that this person has done other than what I just watched and I'd like to go back and see some more videos by this person. I'm going to tell you how to do that right now. Okay, as we get started, let's do a demonstration here. Let's say you want to look up a video on savory buttered pecans. And by the way, if you want to do that, just follow these instructions. You're going to find the best recipe. Okay, you go to YouTube and you type in savory buttered pecans. There we go. And you find what looks to be a great recipe. And you click on it or tap on it and you watch the video and you think, hey, this YouTuber is pretty good. I wonder what other videos they have done. Well, there's a good chance you'll be able to see more of the videos by this same YouTuber in the suggestions, which on a desktop or laptop should be off to the right of the video you just watched or below it. But if not, then the way to see more videos by this person is just go below the video and click on the channel name or the logo for that channel, the logo image. This will take you to the YouTuber's homepage on YouTube. The menu down the left side is for your own YouTube postings, your own YouTube channel, not for the YouTuber you're looking at. To see the YouTuber you're looking at, look just under the channel banner, which is the image across the top of the page, and you'll see several menu items, one of which is home, that should be selected by default, and the second one is videos. Just click on this second item and you will see all the videos that this YouTuber has posted. Now, those videos default to the latest one, but you notice that you can click where it says most popular. And that way you can sort them whichever way you like. Now, just like with the recommended videos, if you hover your mouse cursor over any of those videos, you'll get a preview of some of that video. Now, the other thing I wanted to tell you about were playlists. Some people call them watch lists, but YouTube now calls them playlists. And if this YouTuber has created any playlists, then in that same menu where you clicked on videos to see the videos, right next to it, there's a menu item called playlists. If you click on that, you will see all of the playlists that this YouTuber has created. Now, there are a couple of things you need to know about playlists. And the main one is that anybody on, who is registered on YouTube and signed in can create their own playlists. And they don't have to have uploaded any videos to do that. You can put on any playlist that you like, any videos that you like that you maybe want to come back and see more of later. Or if there's a good instructional video, for example, telling you how to watch YouTube or watch the videos by this YouTuber, you might want to put them on a playlist and you can name your playlist. That's the other thing. You can name your playlist whatever you want to. And for example, you might want to name your playlist YouTube Efficiency or watching YouTube, just whatever you want to name it. And you can put on this playlist videos on how to watch YouTube more effectively. And you can come back and watch them later. Now, there are many YouTubers that create playlists of videos that are not videos they uploaded. I don't do that. On David's Tutorials, if you go to the David's Tutorials homepage and click on Playlists, you will only see the playlists that include the various categories of the tutorials I have posted. And there's, I think, about nine different playlists right now in the various categories. So if you find, for example, you love my recipes and you want to see what recipes I have, just go to my channel homepage, click on Playlists, find the Recipes video playlist and click on that and you will be able to see all the recipes I have posted, which at this point, I believe they're approaching 40 of them. That's a pretty good number of videos for recipes. Now, there are a whole bunch of other tabs on any YouTuber's homepage, and you might want to just go ahead and explore those tabs on your own. There's a lot that you can find out there and just go into the community and see what they have to say. Go on their 
channels that they have liked, that have subscribed to, and you can see that sort of thing right there on the YouTube platform. And that's all I have for you today in this vlog post number 23-11. Give me that thumbs up and that'll tell the YouTube robots that you think this ought to be recommended to other watchers on YouTube. And if you're a subscriber already, thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you're not a subscriber, you know what to do. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and then the bell icon and YouTube will let you know whenever we post another great video right here on David's Tutorials. Take care, everybody, and have yourself an absolutely wonderful rest of your week.